Well, ladies and gentlemen, I was about to decide to not make a video today until some crazy news just came out with another respawn developer, not just any respawn developer, one of the main OGs from a long time is now leaving. This is like the 20th dev so far. I mean, how many more are gonna leave? We just learned some terrible news that broke everybody's hearts about heirloom shards and with the next anniversary collection event and how it's gonna work and people are not happy with it. We got the same dev as always that's deflecting the criticism that actually makes sense. And obviously another respawn OG has left. So before we get into the video, make sure to check down below and see if you won the giveaway. We have a lot of people not claiming their prizes. A lot of people trying to impersonate others that are claiming their prizes. We've only had like five people actually collect them. So make sure to comment down below. I'm gonna keep giving away till we have some more people that claim comment down below leave a like on the video and make sure you subscribe to the channel because i'm only picking people that are subscribed so let's go ahead and jump into it apex legends level designer rodney reese is leaving respawn rodney was the lead designer on world's edge and storm point thanks and good luck on his own personal page he tweeted that today is my last day at respawn apex has been an amazing adventure and i'm excited to be a fan from the outside to all the players out there who gave me their time to play my silly levels thank you you were always in my mind and made me work harder. And I responded and said, look, I don't care what anybody says. I know people move on from jobs, yes, but not all the OGs at once. What is actually going on, dude? But wait, there's more. It wasn't just him. Also, Dave, the creator of Olympus, the guy who designed Olympus and did an incredible job and people were really loving how pretty this map was. He also left today and said this with season 12 wrapped up. Today's my last day at Respawn. I'm so proud of what the team and I were able to accomplish over these few years on Apex. Building Olympus and leading the map teams are highlights of my career. Thanks to Respawn and all who believed in this game so why in the world have we had so many people leave the game people that have been around for so long we've got rodney reese gone we got dave gone we got jason mccord gone we got chad grenier gone a few others have also left that i'm forgetting some people have speculated that a lot of them are moving over to gravity well which drew mccoy left respawn a couple years ago he started with somebody else and people were talking about that maybe they're just going over to that organization or that development team some of this could be true some of those people could be going over to gravity wells but a lot of this uh I know Jason McCord actually tweeted whenever he left that he had no intentions or no plans to do anything. He was just kind of sitting and waiting around to see what he was going to do with his life. So this kind of stuff is just very weird. Now, this doesn't really change my opinion about how I feel about season 12. I still think season 12 looks like an absolute blast. The new mode looks super fun. Going back to Olympus sounds really fun. Maggie sounds like she's going to be a lot of fun. So I'm still excited about the game. But obviously, this is a news channel. And when stuff pops up, we talk about it. Which leads me to another topic I really did not want to cover today. But I kind of have to. This has kind of gone viral over the last couple of hours. Uh, this has basically been another season 12 uh, leak that came out because people got access to the early access events. So you guys know that they usually do these things where with the uh, EA creator network or even on big seasons, they'll invite multiple people from multiple outlets and they'll be able to play the new season early, get some content. And whenever the embargo lifts that they'll actually release this content and show all that's going on and all that they played, all the new stuff to show off. Well, the same guy that leaked it all last season, got a part of it again this season. And his name is Autism Gaming 420. And people were not happy whenever he discovered and found out how the actual anniversary collection event is going to work this season so he made a tweet showing this leak which i won't show i'm not going to show any of the leaks but i'll just let you go and search for them if you're interested however basically found out that uh the way it's going to work is there will be no heirloom shards there will be no heirloom like item that you're going to get it's an actual bloodhound skin that they've deemed heirloom level and i don't agree with that and i'm pretty upset about it however what most people are upset about is that you have to pay $160 just to get the skin. Now, to be fair, this does seem very accurate because he, you know, was on the event, but we don't know everything. Something could change last minute. Maybe they say, oh, you get heirloom shards and the skin or something. I don't know how it's going to work. I doubt it. Probably not, but maybe something changes, hopefully. But like I said on my stream yesterday, as upset as I am about it, I do think that that was the wrong decision to make. I might even just simply buy it because I am happy that there is a new LTM. I am happy that the game looks like it'll be fun again. I am happy that Maggie seems fun. The map seems fun. The game looks like it's gonna be in a better state and a more fun state. And overall, I'm still happy about that. But what's very weird is the immature respawn developer, Josh Medina, replying to my tweet because I have information as far as how some of this stuff is getting out. Not all of it, but I do know that there are people that are part of the media press kit that is getting early access to this who are giving information to other people and leaking out information and i know who it is but I, i'm not going to help people who tend to deflect like this so i said on twitter will respawn ever learn how to secure an early access event lol I feel so bad for the creators that are part of this and josh medina just replied with this michael jordan gif i don't know why he chose michael jordan i mean maybe he thinks he relates to him the height's definitely not there so i, I don't know but this is a classic josh medina thing to do to deflect the information that actually would help him because he's too prideful to really care and i also followed it up with this saying 
replied with gifts to be a douchebag under criticism tweets that actually make sense or be concerned about the two media press members getting early access to things and leaking out information into which obviously he would rather have the first the internet has been such a terrible gateway for some people to have egos that really have no accolades to back it up i mean you would think this guy's dwayne the rock johnson the way he acts on twitter well i mean not really i mean the rock doesn't really kiss up to mlb and nba and nfl athletes anyways i hope you all enjoyed let me know what you think of the news down below i'm looking for some interesting comments on how you guys feel about this anniversary stuff and how you guys feel about the more respawn developers leaving the game for all of you that donated on the stream last night because of the baby i really appreciate it i told everybody i'm gonna buy a tv to put in a nursery now i really appreciate all the support i hate when negative news like this stuff comes out definitely not what i was hoping to hear although i'm still excited about season 12 i'm gonna have a great time playing it and i can't wait for it to come out hope to see you all in the stream tonight we're having marbles madness again and until next time later gators